Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. Today is the 16th of November, and today we're bringing in three Foundry Officers while, uh, as fast as possible. <laughs> we're not worrying about what we did to anyone else, just trying to go fast. We are glitch sick, tough, vindictive ex Foundry, and we got a conk hammer, glitch trap, stealth shield, and you know what that is? That is a foundry brick, and for once, we are not trying to keep uh, most of the people alive. So we're probably not going to try and get it, use it to get the target out into space, because they're probably going to die if we do that. But we can break a hole in the ship and uh, be much closer to the target. Alternatively, we can also trap the exits if they are fleeing. And the target is fleeing. So we have heat sensors, emergency shields, autopilot. Okay. Oh. Just trying to use shift there to accelerate time instead of F. So, target is right here. And they're going to be fleeing. Telepad is right here. There's no way we can blow that up. Autopilot's right here. No way we can blow that up. So sadly, we have to go through the ship. But the telepad is at least somewhat close by. We might go in, set the trap, leave by exploding that, perhaps. We'll see. Get some auto zoom from a station over here. And let's go. Alright. Not the absolute smoothest, which is actually somewhat important to do in as fast as possible ones but oh well so targets here will it actually be f okay so I was wondering if it was going to be faster to trap the telepad and then leave but what I just remembered is we can trap the telepad and then uh, use the telepad which will send us out into space uh, the one thing we need to make sure is that the glitch trap is not in the room because it will be spaced as well. And then we do need to remember to actually capture them. Okay, and we need to get this key. So is it faster to go over here or down here? Over here we have to get that key, so we're going down. All right. Get into view of view. Give you a smash. Give you a shot. Give you a thwack. And let's take the conk hammer because we can use it to dash and pick up the key manually, which I think will be a bit faster than waiting for the recharge of the conk hammer. Okay, so dash down here, get your key, go kerblamo, mess up the pausing a little bit, and then just run away, I think. Yeah, we do need the alarm to go off at some point. And this is a, as good a time as any. Okay, so target fleeing from here. There's no way they're going down this route, right? 
So I'd have to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whereas this way it was just one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's absolutely no way. So we'll be setting our trap right here, taking you out, listening to a train that goes by. Uh, I'm gonna mute my voice for a sec. Unmuting to say that there is still a train going by. Uh, so quick thoughts. I'm just debating. So we're already too slow to get under uh, 10 seconds. So I might still try and get you for your item. Sidewinder. Not exactly what I want. So that's what I'm deciding right now. This is going to be a bit of an effort. Is there any items that I want? I, I can still use like crashes and stuff. So I'm going to go for that. All right, train is gone. <laughs> Sorry for the silence. I figure that's better than a constant rumble. So yeah, so I went for the target in hopes of getting something good. Visitor is might be decent for ship three. Um, but otherwise, not amazing when you're glitch sick. And I already shut out the window, so. So yeah, the whole point of trying to go as fast as possible on the, uh, as fast as possible dailies is you're only docked points if you go over nine seconds. And so it's extremely valuable to your score uh, to be under that. But since it takes three seconds, the three and some change of seconds to actually leave from the ship uh, when I was at seven seconds it was already too late if I had dock if I'd had a fast three second dock then I probably and I was at like six seconds there I probably would have used the telepad and definitely want this back take this the main use of the Sidewinder is to move through space quicker. Okay, target is armored. 
Good thing we do have the glitch trap. Target flees once again, so we're not likely going to use the brick, sadly. Okay, Telepet is right there. So this is something we could consider trying to blow up. I've been able to fairly reliably crash within one square of my target when using the brick lately. But I'm still not huge on the chances. And I don't have a way to get out of here. And if I miss, then I lose. <laughs> I just straight up lose. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't like it, but I'm going to have to go through this the normal way. <clears throat> Double checking my stuff. All right. Yeah, we'll probably set off the alarm. Oh, let's let's take a look at the ship from the inside. Bonk. Ooh, that's not a good. Ah oh, man. All right. Dream of under ten seconds is dead. Okay, so if I'd hit this room, I'd have been safe as well. But you can't know that until you've docked. Target's over there. Alright. Well, that was sad. <laughs> now, one nice thing is if we set off the alarm, they get to here-ish. Yeah, we want to set off the alarm. Yep. Hey, what did I just do? I don't know what I just did. I think I threw this. I'm not using the visitor here. Probably not using a stealth shield. So we'll go with this. So yeah, we want to set off the alarm. Because anywhere they walk along here, we'll put them closer to the window. And if they get up here, we can space them into the pod. Give you a shot. Nothing personnel, kid. Ooh, shotguns. I will take a shotgun. Yeah, I should have picked up the key first. Whoops. Okay, right up here. Give you a shot. Pick up your key. Dash down here. And yeah, that's looking like a good spot to ambush the target. We will remote control this brick. Get it moving. Try not to bonk. Dash down here. We're not going to bash into uh, bash into them directly because that resets the counter for the cooldown on the conk hammer. Now, do I go for that crate? I think I do because I'm already over time. Pod nice and slowed and try and do this correctly. So do I try and put you directly in there? I think I do. I should I should have taken out. Or I should have knocked the pilot from their seat. Okay. Come back here. And let's hope this doesn't mess up. Perfect.
crash beam. That could be useful. Pick this up. Remote this. Get it moving back just a bit. And then we'll shoot out the window. And get caught. Alright. 14 seconds. Not what I'm looking for. That was a very slow dock. Granted, it wasn't the best of docking points. Should have approached it from closer to the bottom of the ship. Alright, guns. Shields, glitch dashers, and target flees once again. Why? The one time that I don't want the target to be fleeing. Okay, target is here. The pad is... Somewhere... Telepad is right here. Do I go for the... Do I go for breaking this telepad? So that's gonna be the only way that I can do this in under nine seconds. In theory, this one is a bit easier because I can head straight on, maybe. Mm -hmm -hmm. We can have a tighter angle. We can be a bit closer because we can move our mouse further away because it's at this angle, so. All right, I may regret this. But I'm gonna give it a shot. This could reset my win counter. Hello. Nope, oh, my pod joined me. Whoops. Eh, you're getting a bit close, so I'm gonna move over to here. Okay, hop out. Okay. Now we do not have to worry about the time going up. But we do have to worry about many other things. So, oh, you've actually changed your angle a bit. So you're rotating slightly. So I can no, I no longer have my advantage. So, <laughs> telepad is right there. Telepad is right there. But I am way too close to this. Ooh, am I gonna chicken out? I might chicken out. Okay, so we have to aim right here. Let's see if this will work. Okay, here goes nothing. We bonked. Where did we bonk? I think we bonked. That looks like it looks like we had, we're right on target. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Get this to a better angle. Okay. Weird having, like, the regular music while I'm out here in space. Okay, I need to be a bit further now. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if this will actually work. If my mouse is this close. But we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> nope. Uh, looks like we were in the right spot, though. <laughs> I'm being very cautious on this. So I think I can be about this close. But if I do... If I am, I have to... Move my mouse farther this way. Which I am not a fan of. Okay. We'll get that pointing right there and... Still bonk. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, but that as much as... That is as much as I am willing to <laughs> risk to break my losing, my winning streak. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's not going to help me at all. Oh, it is an easier docking point. It's a shame that I did not end up successfully using the brick. Do I just dock there? That's going to be so much easier than there. And uh, never mind, I don't have a key cloner or anything. Okay, you are annoying. Good thing I've got a crash beam. Yeah, there's this ship is way too big. There's no way this gets done fast. Yeah, if I'd hit there, I would have been given a lot more time, but the target still could have made it to the telepad. If I hit there, then I would have lost definitely. Okay. I wonder if I can crash the tracker and the key holder at the same time. Or I could get this armored guard to join me down here and they can open the door for me. I like that plan. Could go terribly wrong, but I like the plan. Let's see... Mm, we are... getting pretty close on its range. Nope. Messed that up a bit. But this should get you over here. That's not where I wanted you to be. Do we glitch trap you? I think we glitch trap you. Not close enough. All right. Oh, 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 boy. Nothing's going right. Yeah, there's plenty that's gone fine, I suppose. I should have, maybe should have sidewinded into there. <sighs> quite, quite the times we were having.
But hey, I was able, nope, too close, or not close enough. I was able to crash both of you at the same time. Which means I can shot get you, shot you. And hey, I've got a nice key and I've got a nice gun now. Could have crashed you as well to stop the alarm, I suppose. Okay, yeah, we'll be meeting you up there. Let's get this visitor in our hands. Crash you. Give you a nice shot with something that cannot miss and goes faster than a glitch dasher. Oof, already at eight seconds. As we walk around this corner, let's get the brick moving. Do we try and do that thing again with you? It's a bit risky. Yeah, we can glitch trap, probably. Yeah, that's at point nine. This will be fine, I'm sure. As long as it's not doesn't have any momentum. Okay, I should have taken out the pilot. Mm, not super fond of that angle. Yeah, so the problem here is that we're going to have to pick him up from right here. In just a few seconds. Oof. Okay, yeah, there's no way they go around here, so this is the path they're taking. We'll out the window. Remote control. Catch ourselves as fast as possible. Mm, I could have used the visitor, right. Get close. Oh, I was gonna sidewind in, but that works as well. All right, then we'll one, two, three. Toss ourselves out and head back. And this is also a good time to not technical, not sharing accessibility. Auto zoom. Okay. Now we're gonna head back as fast as we can. I think I leap, leapt out a little too early. Uh, no, 14 is probably about right. <clears throat> okay, luckily they're drifting down a bit. I guess that's the ship on its curve a little bit. So this is not too bad. 
Alright. So yeah, shame that it was a minus 15 today. And it technically would have been possible to get at least a or to get a minus five at the very least. Uh, because we could have used the brick to blow up the telepad on two of the ships. Nope, auto zoom is not here. Uh, while we're here, let's change back to auto zoom. All right. Yep, minus five, four eighty-five. Better than uh, getting a one hundred or three hundred or whatever it would have been if we had failed. I guess it would have no, it would have been a ninety-five or a two twenty-five if we didn't manage to. Do it, and we would have broken our 51 win streak if we'd messed up too badly. So, yeah, trying to do that, trying to do that brick from any farther was, with that amount of precision needed, was not something I was willing to risk. But let's see. The results of yesterday. Game crashed, but only slightly. Okay. 15th of November. I still technically won, but I got seen by some means that I do not understand. I used a uh, Sidewind while glitch dick out in space, and it caused the person still inside to be able to see me somehow. So that's something I'm gonna have to mess around with and see what caused because that's a pretty BS way to to lose the perfect score. But at least I still have the daily streak going. So yesterday ended with Archer 10 and first. Plan B in second, Zazaza third, Zavik fourth, and I go unseen fifth. And that is true, you are unseen in that daily. Alright. That is all for today. <laughs> Sorry for it being long and with some complications and things that didn't turn out well. Well, that's what I get for playing so late, probably. Anyways, late in the morning, that is. I'm quite tired. <laughs> hope you found it enjoyable regardless. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.